Hello meine lieben Zuschauer, ciao a tutti and welcome back to my channel. Now, have any of you ever felt that discomfort of traveling abroad and being somewhere where everyone around you is speaking a language completely different to the one you understand? You feel completely lost, you can't read the signs, you just, you feel so out of place and in that moment you're wishing that you'd never given up that language in high school. Or, my personal favorite, have you ever wanted to learn a language so obscure that no one would ever expect you to learn and you just imagine that moment one day you're sitting on the bus or on the tram and you overhear people speaking about you and in that moment you turn around say the most elegant fluent sentence you can possibly say in that language and leave them completely shocked that's probably my personal favorite so whatever your reason might be and for any of you who've ever feared starting to learn a language I'm about to give you six top reasons why you absolutely must learn a language and if you're not convinced by the end of this, then I don't know what else will convince you. So, who doesn't love to travel? And traveling can be super, super amazing. But sometimes the biggest problem is the language barrier. And it can get frustrating, especially when you're trying to buy simple things in the shop. Or you need to go to a pharmacy and just have no idea how to ask what you want. And the person that you're trying to communicate with doesn't speak your language. So this is where learning another language comes in and I don't also mean, you know, having to study it for years and years and years just to go on this trip. Now one thing I can definitely recommend is even learn it 3-4 weeks before you go overseas. If you know you're traveling somewhere, take a phrase book as well. And this is what I did in Italy. Now I couldn't speak Italian before I went to Italy and I'm still learning it now. But I found, I literally just used my phrase book, I would look up the phrases before I went. Um, when I went to the pharmacy and I needed a cream because I had an insect bite, I looked it up, googled it and could say it and it helped so so much. It makes communicating with the locals so much easier, you can get what you want quicker and it just makes your trip also a lot cheaper because if you speak the language of where you're going, you can mingle with the locals and they can tell you exactly which super overpriced tourist areas to avoid and where to go so you can get the best experience possible in the end. So, reason number two for why you should learn a language is that it helps boost your confidence and self-esteem. So, especially when you are traveling overseas and even if you're not completely fluent in a language and you find yourself in a super tricky situation, for example, you've lost your passport, you're in the middle of Bulgaria or somewhere and you don't speak the language at all, in those moments, you're not going to care what you look like, what you sound like, if your sentences are even structured properly. All you want is a quick and simple solution to your problem. So, speaking another language forces you to actually get out of your comfort zone. You're put into situations where you can't rely on your mother tongue. And if you don't know how to say something in another language, often your brain will try and find a creative way or restructure the way you want to say something to get your point across. And after you've been through those difficult experiences, you realize that they're not that bad. And it's such a rewarding feeling when you know that you've gotten out of your comfort zone and achieved something incredible. So reason number three, have you ever sometimes just felt sick of your personality or wish you could be like someone else, act like someone else, or even, yeah, learning another language really sometimes makes you feel like you have different personalities and it helps you find different ways to express yourself um, and I don't just mean linguistically for example as a lot of you might know with Italian Italians use a lot of hand gestures they're very expressive and just elaborate and for example I find myself personally in the mornings because I work in an Italian restaurant when our bread man comes in you know I feel a lot more like happy and giddy and I go ciao buongiorno Marco and you know like it's almost like for me, I have uh, the Latvian Lena, there's the Spanish Lena, there's the German Lena, and this also has something to do with the actual language itself. For example, a lot of languages have words and phrases that you can't find in any other language. For example, Russian has two different words for blue. They look at the color blue completely differently, and this also has an effect on your perception of the colors, if you are a native Russian speaker. And following on from that, in German there are so, so many words that we would need a whole phrase for in English. For example, Fremdschirm is when you feel embarrassment for someone else or when they are in an embarrassing situation and you feel that embarrassment yourself. And same goes with words like Wanderlust and Sehnsucht. 
that we just don't have in English, so we actually take them from these languages. And also something about expression, did you know that the way a language is actually structured can influence the way that you describe certain situations? So for example, not to get too scientific on you, but when you take Romance languages like French and Spanish and Italian, they are verb-based languages, so they use the verb to decode the manner that something is occurring, so an action. And take a Germanic language like English, English is a satellite-based language, so it encodes the manner within the verb. So to give you an example, take a man limping across the room. In English, we can say the man is limping across the room, but in a language like Spanish or Italian, you can't say that. There is no verb for limping. You would have to say, el hombre está cruzando la sala encojeando. So, he is crossing the room is the verb, and the manner is then this added extra thing. It can't be encoded in the verb. So reason number four is that in learning a language, it boosts your brain power incredibly. So what I mean by this is that when you learn a language, your hippocampus and your cerebral cortex are the two parts that are being activated. And these are the parts that are responsible for your brain thinking processes and memory. And so essentially, when you learn a language, not only does it make learning any further one a lot easier and you retain vocabulary and all other grammatical concepts and just pretty much anything else a lot quicker and a lot easier but it flows into any part of your life and the best part of all is that studies have shown that it actually doesn't matter when in life you learn a language so you could start learning one when you're 10 when you're 40 when you're 60 and your brain will still get the same awesome benefits so I'm pretty sure the next point is no secret at all, but if you're looking to study or work overseas, then knowing another language makes you more employable than other candidates who don't. So, for example, a lot of university courses or universities in general overseas have a language requirement, particularly in countries where English isn't an official language, and they're more likely to take on candidates who do speak the language or even have some knowledge in it. Doesn't mean that you have to be fluent or native in the language, but if you have at least some record of you having learned the language or having an interest in learning the language, then they're more likely to take you on than someone else. And same goes for work. So knowing another language just opens up your world to a broader range of opportunities and you honestly never know where in the world knowing a language can take you. My final point is the amazing friendships and relationships that can be created just by knowing another language. So when you do know how to speak another language, it automatically opens up sort of the circle of people that you are exposed to. And it is really that connecting factor that creates a really strong bond between you and another individual who speaks another language. There's a really famous quote by Nelson Mandela, which I will put up right here. But basically it goes, when you speak to a man in his own language, you're speaking to his heart. And it really just, yeah, allows you to meet so many new incredible people and have so many new exciting experiences that you otherwise wouldn't have been exposed to. And another thing, you never know, you might even meet the love of your life or your next partner. For example, with me, had I not known German, I probably wouldn't have studied at Mannheim University and I would never have met my boyfriend over there. So, there you go. So, if you guys have any other awesome tips or reasons for why you should learn a language that you definitely need to be shared with others, please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can keep up with all of my latest videos and I've got some awesome ones coming up for you soon. So, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao!